We're now going to review science and biology courses available at the Westwood Norwood Libraries. I'm going to first of all do an overview of all the courses that are available right now. We'll be adding more to in the future. Then we're going to go through a few of them in detail, letting you know about the, the quality and the depth. The Joy of Science by Professor Hazen George Mason University. The History of Science, Antiquity to 1700. John Hopkins University Lawrence Principal. Chemistry is one of the few that's taught by a high school, but the teacher is so popular, they put this into the series. Frank Cardula from North High School. Great scientific ideas that change the world. There's 36 lectures in this group. Stephen Goldman, Lehigh University. Science in the 20th Century, a social intellectual survey. 36 lectures. Stephen Goldman, Lehigh. Cosmology, the history and nature of our universe. Mark Whittle, University of Virginia. Science Wars, what scientists know and how they know it. This is Stephen Goldman, Lehigh University. Introduction to Nanotechnology, the new science of the small. Shanna Kelly and Ted Sargent, University of Toronto. Doctors, the history of scientific medicine, revealed through biography. Sherwin Newland, Yale School of Medicine. Robotics, John Long, Vassar College. How to program, computer science concepts and Python exercises. John Kieser, Texas A&M. Understanding Modern Electronics. Professor Gold, Richard Wilson, Middlebury College. The biology courses. Understanding the Human Body, an Introduction to Anatomy and Physiology. Anthony Goodman. Super String Theory, the DNA of Reality. James Gates, Jr. The Science of Life. Stephen Nowicki, Duke University. Understanding Genetics, DNA Genes in Their Real-World Application, David Sadova, Claremont McKenna, Pisa, and Scripps College. Understanding the Brain, Jeanette Norden, Vanderbilt University. I'm going to now just give you a little more detail about some of these courses. First of all, all of them are aimed at people who are lay people. You don't have to be a scientist to learn this. It's trying to introduce you to what's going on in these courses. First, the Joy of Science. George Hazen, George Mason University. In this case, there's 60 courses, 30 minutes. Scientific method, Newton's law of motion. Imagine learning this stuff as a layperson, but what does it mean? Electricity, atoms, semiconductors, nuclear fission, astronomy, water, protein cell, DNA, genetic code, genetic engineering, and cancer. Hazen's course, George Mason University. Great scientific ideas that changed the world. Stephen Goldman, Lehigh, 36 lectures of 30 minutes. The birth of natural science, medieval revolution. Gutenberg to Galileo. Copernicus, algebra calculus, where did they come from? Atomic theory, cell theory, germ theory, gene and computer. About 900 AD, a young priest in France went over to work in Spain, which was at that time a Muslim country. And what he did was he suddenly realized they had something over there called zero in algebra and geometry. And where he was from, the Holy Roman Empire, they had Roman numerals. This young priest became a pope, and he mandated that the Holy Roman Empire around 19, 900 AD begin to use uh, algebra, geometry, mathematics. It was a whole revolution in mathematics when the Western world suddenly started to learn what, what the uh, Middle East had already done and what uh, India had already done. So that's a huge revolution to see how mathematics changed. Introduction to nanotechnology, the new science of the small. From micro to nano, leveraging the nanometer, nanoengineering, nano in medicine, DNA, nanoparticles, nanomaterials in drug delivery, surgical tools, artificial tissue, capturing sunlight, the far future. Unbelievable for, for kids to think about maybe where might they like to go. These are the fascinating years of nano, teaching you something about it. Robotics. Westwood High right now won the state championship in robotics and is representing Massachusetts. John Long Vassa, robot body, sensors, controllers, human-inspired robot planning, animal-inspired robot planning, basic skills for making robots, 
robots in factories, home, hospitals, self-driving cars, flying underwater in space, the future of robots. Wonderful introduction to a, a huge new field. How to program computer science concepts in Python exercises. Right now, Westwood kids in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade do 30 hours of computer program, 30 hours of engineering. These are really meant for young kids, but if you've never got into computer programming, why not learn? John Keyser, Texas A&M. Programming, making computers do what you want. Python, this is a method of teaching it. The computer language, tools and techniques for coding. A great foundation for anyone wanting to learn the field. Another one, understanding modern electronics. Rifford Wilson, Middlebury College. Electronic devices are in everything you use today. Why not learn something about them and how they work? AC versus DC, semiconductors, transistors, digital versus analog, digital to analog, and analog to digital. Next group, the biology courses. A lot of kids want to go into biology, you want to go into medicine. One of the courses, understanding the human body, an introduction to anatomy and physiology. 32 lectures of 45 minutes each. The cardiovascular system, respiratory system, nervous, digestive, endocrine, urinary, reproductive, musculoskeletal, immune system, and the biology of cancer. A tremendous introduction uh, to understanding the human body. The next course in biology, the science of life, Stephen Nowicki, Duke University. Go to Duke University, this is a course you take. 72 lectures of 30 minutes each. That's a huge cost to take one course in a college. Proteins, how things get done in the cell, from RNA to DNA, genetic engineering in biotechnology, how cells think, how muscles work, the innate immune system, the acquired immune system. Another one in the biology section, understanding genetics, DNA and genes, David Sadava, Claremont College, the DNA structure, genes, genomes, biotechnology, genetic engineering, molecular medicine, genetic screening, immune system, cancer, and gene therapy. Now those are just some details of just a few of these courses in the science and the biology section. They're available on a DVD. You can sit home and watch them. Uh, if you're older people, I think you get the grandkids and your, 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 your sons and daughters into learning about this, and you might want to learn something about it yourself. Available at the Westwood and Allwood Libraries. Thank you.